All right, today on Cabal Cast, we're going to be in Command and Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath to do a Christmas holiday VOD. Uh, this game here, we're going to be back on Tournament Odyssey, and uh, this map is just super cool. So, anyway, we got uh, two players today. We got Echo playing as the Scrin against Executive playing as the Random. So, Echo, everybody knows, is Granola Bar, 17, and Executive, uh, my old 3v3 partner, um, very good guy. He's getting better at 2v2, 3v3. So let's get this game started on Tournament Odyssey and uh, Control Center in, this, in the center of the map. And in the uh, top uh, right here, we see this is going to be Echo, a.k.a. Granola. He's playing as the Red Skrin. And down on the bottom left, we see Executive playing as a Green Knot Faction. It's going to be uh, not vanilla So a Militant Squad for him. You know, capture his two tip spikes, which is uh, just behind his base. Same thing for... Whoops, what the hell was that? Same thing for, uh, for Granola. He's going to go send these two simulators. I forgot what faction he is. I think it's a uh, screen of vanilla. So it's going to be a vanilla matchup here um, on the Terminal Odyssey. And uh, both the players going to get their tip spikes. And then we're followed by extractors after that. Milton Squad going to the center of the map towards this uh, defensive structure. Not sure if anybody's going to be uh, anti scouting. I think Executive, maybe he can spot the, engine, the uh, Buzzer Squad here and destroy it before. He gets to his base, but I don't think so. Well, maybe. I mean, if he's lucky, he can uh, get that Milton Squad. And yeah, it's probably going to be destroyed. Oh, the Buzzer Squad just gets away out of the range of that Milton Squad. And I like how the Milton Squad, when it focuses on a unit, it's just like, it glitches like that. It's like a, doing like a, the funky chicken, you know? It glitches like that when it's, when it's like that. I don't know why, why that is, but apparently it is. I uh, would see a War Factor out here from Executive. It's going to be a Raider Buggy. He's going to be doing uh, some anti-scouting. Destroy that Buzzer Squad from uh, Granola. He's trying to do... A micro behind that uh, war factory and it's going to be getting some repairs inside that uh, tip field which is what screen units always do Milton squad is going to be scouting inside the base of uh, granola he powered down his uh, war factory for some strange reason i think he had a uh, a harvester that was halfway done and he wanted to get that extractor out so they didn't waste uh waste money trying not to get it which is very smart obviously pro players do that and the reactor is going to be out now and that means he's going to be going for his expansion He's got his uh, fourth uh, harvester already. Meanwhile, Executive is just focusing on getting his uh, fourth out right now. It's a little bit behind, about 10 seconds. So that that can't, it's not that much, but it could um, have an effect in the long run. Depends on what happens. What is that? Oh, it's a little bit of sheen there on that drone platform. That's why, because of the sun's uh, deflect, reflecting from this direction onto that uh, drone platform. Anyway, Granola is going to be going for an expansion. He's not building anything out of his drone platform yet. So now he's building a buzzer hive as well as an extractor. Executive is doing the exact same thing. He's building something from his uh, construction area. It's too fast to be building for a refinery. Could be another war factory or it could be a, uh, an operation center. We'll see what it is. Um, it's going to be a... Oh, it's a war factory. Okay, so he's going to go for double war factory. Um, could be for bikes and buggies, I would assume, because this map is notorious for that kind of stuff. Radar buggy up here, just seeing what uh, Granola has. And he's going to be placing down his second uh, refinery right now. Powers it down so that he doesn't uh, get the low power. And now he's going to go for some secret tanks. And that's classic Skrin. Trying to destroy that. Uh, oh, there's a couple of secret tanks out here already from Granola. So he's trying to take out that radio buggy. It's still uh, going around. And that's a good thing because then he can keep eyes on Granola uh, as, as best he possibly can. Executive is a little stolen on cash because he's trying to uh, fund this attack with when the uh, Tiberium is not close to your refineries like this actually the refinery is way the hell up there for some strange reason so it's a little bit uh, a little bit delayed for the bike buggy and I think uh, Granola knows this actually speaking of which he has a couple of bikes and buggies in this base already destroyed a harvester already and uh, he may be able to finish out this harvester he's trying to build a block with a portal but that didn't work and now uh, two harvesters are down from Granola so he's gonna have to re replace those as best he possibly can and these secret tanks are going to chase away those bike buggies. So that was a good attack there by Executive. Although at the same time, his own Harvester is being under attack by these three secret tanks. But he has some bikes coming in. And these should finish off the rest of the secret tanks. And he shouldn't be able to lose a Harvester. So that's very good there by Executive. Destroying two of Granola's Harvesters and protecting his own. Now once he gets that Harvester repaired up, he needs to get back, get back to work. He's going for some uh, Scorpion tanks on now. So he's transitioning uh, very well. And looks like he's going to be just going straight into Scorpion Tank production, which means he'll have a good portion of these bikes and buggies to just keep harassing uh, Granola's uh, harvesters in the backside of things. And Granola has done a good job of uh, replacing his harvesters. I think he, yeah, he transferred one from his main field to his expansion. So that's okay for him. He's got a second uh, drone platform or uh, warp sphere out. So he's going to be double uh, producing these secret tanks. 
And with Executive going for uh, Scorpion Tanks, it's going to be pretty good because you can upgrade them with, uh, with Dozer Blades and then Laser Capacitors to do a ton of damage. And then Secret Tanks with their Attenuated Force Fields and Shard Launchers are also going to be pretty good too. Speaking of which, uh, there is Attenuated Force Fields. Being upgraded from the freshly placed uh, Nerf Center from uh, Granola. He's going to keep that portal there. I guess he wanted to keep it just for uh, Dissinior Squads. And as soon as I say that, there they are. So that's going to be pretty good. He uh, built and sold a Buzzer Squad there. So he can get uh, some eyes up here, I suppose. Nobody's captured the expansion points just yet. I guess that could be a very good upgrade as well. A couple of uh, random uh, infantry in the center of the map here. The Scorpion tanks are already in the center of the map at this uh, control center. And looks like uh, Executive is going to be priming for an attack. He's got some bikes and buggies mixed in with the Scorpion tanks. The Scorpion tanks are going to attack the uh, Secret tanks from the front. While the uh, bikes and buggies are going to go around the side, I would assume. But I think a Granola with these uh, Secret Descent Army is going to keep them... Uh, heavily invested in this. He's bringing in a bunch of Milton squads to deal with these uh, Senior squads, which is very smart because these buggies won't do the damage they need to destroy buzzer squads. And the secret tanks are, are trying to keep um, a low profile and uh, keeping these uh, Scorpion tanks and these bikes under control. Tamiya Force Fields is done just in the nick of time. Then they're going to be focusing the rest of these attack bikes. They may be able to get a Harvester if they're lucky. If they get one more rocket shot off and they do, they lose one of the Harvester, but they get wasted on those uh, secret tanks. I think Executive needs to get the hell out of there. Not sure if he can support this. Actually, he's uh, still fighting, but he's losing a majority of Scorpion tanks to these Incinerator squads. And uh, this is not going to be good for him. Executive needs to get the hell out of there so he can save as many forces as he possibly can. That was an uh, okay defense there by Granola. He did lose one Harvester, but he did manage to take out all the bikes and buggies and a good chunk of the, uh, the Scorpion tank army from Executive. And what Executive has been doing, he's been placing down his Operation Center. He needs to be upgrading with Dozer Blaze. Is he at Tier 3? No, he is not. He's uh, packing up some CV again. Would have been make much more sense if he can just uh, build an engineer and then go capture that expansion point and then place a refinery as soon as he's captured it. He hasn't captured the uh, defensive structure yet. Oh, we see a flame tank out here from Executive. So that's going to be going into the backside of the base and this place a completely defenseless here from Granola. So he's going to be doing a ton of damage. Taking a couple of power plants. And the tech lab is also out now as well from... Uh, uh, from Executive. Not from Executive, from Granola. It could be... It's definitely going to be... Um, uh, shard launches because he has a bunch of scorpion tanks and shard launches would make a huge difference and the upgrade is going to be finished right about now and there they are green type crystals on him where's that uh, flame tank i'm not sure what the flame tank is i think it's just been hiding around uh, granola does scout that executive is here and uh, we see a couple of flame tanks already here although that's a decoy army actually there's a real flame tank right here so the flame tanks are being mixed in with the scorpion tanks. I haven't seen this in such a long time. This is this is a old school a technique where um, scorpion tanks are mixed in with flame tanks, and the flame tanks just does does the damage, while the scorpion tanks focus the uh, vehicles. This is old school. This is like this is like patch 1.00, and I haven't seen this in such a long time. So this could be uh, very powerful. And uh, executive is just barbecuing all of these senior squads. That's not good, but the secret tanks with the shields and the shard launchers should be able to null nullify this force. There's a bunch of flame tanks here, and they could take out the shields if they're lucky, but uh, Granola's doing a great job focusing the flame tanks first, and then focusing on the uh, scorpion tanks afterwards. But that, that attack there from Executive just failed hard, because he was not expecting these secret tanks to destroy the flame tanks that fast. And more flame tanks are coming in. They're going to finish off a bunch of the senior squad, which is not good. But in doing so, Executive lost a bunch of his secret tanks as part of Holy cow, there's a lot more uh, fl flame tanks here. What the hell? I was not paying attention to this. And these flame tanks will take out the extractor. So that's going to be very, very powerful. Wow. Uh, that was fast flame tanks there from Executive. He's got more flame tanks at his base. And uh, trying to build and sell. Actually just built right there. And the secret tanks are all over the map now. Uh, more secret squads are being built. The simulator is going to be built now. Oh, we see another flame tank coming in, and that flame tank is going to go the wrong way. And it just managed to take out a $500 uh, simulator, so that's okay. But now these flame tanks are just all over the map. And uh, Executive is trying to look for prime targets to attack. He could attack the Tier 2 and Tier 3 if he's lucky, but he's going to barbecue the Cinderella squads off first. But he, th he might be able to take out the Extractor and Power Plant as well. And uh, he's reverse moving. Why is he reverse moving? Oh, there we go. He's uh, reverse moving, and Granola is trying to take this opportunity to destroy the flight tank with his, uh, his uh, Dissinator squads. Executive is not paying attention because he's focusing on here, and that flight tank will get destroyed. There's not a whole lot of uh, Scorpion tanks here, and Granola is going to be focusing down the rest of these uh, Harvesters. Actually, one Harvester will go down, and the uh, Scorpion tanks are also going to be destroyed. The Buzzer Swarm Support Power coming in, takes down all those Rocket squads. I mean, you know, you had to see it coming. 
and those rockets will get destroyed. Secret tanks are just destroying all of these harvesters, and it's just insane how uh, deadly they are. He even throws down the drone support power as well, just to keep his uh, secret tanks uh, up alive. And holy cow, it's a lot of uh, mills and rockets or uh, reference squads. That's quite a bit of them. These uh, harvesters are just going to get fried, and all like all the harvesters were destroyed. Back up here, we see the couple of uh, harvesters from uh, Executive are are just. Um, Harvesting some Tiberium will means well, meanwhile a couple of the harvesters from granola are just stealing some green tip And now the secret tanks are gonna be going in to the expansion But they they are met by this defensive uh, tower and that's gonna get focused on pretty easily uh, Descender squads are also coming in as well. They're gonna be focusing on the infantry. There's so much action here It's not funny uh, Executive is gonna be might, might lose his uh, construction if he's lucky these senior squads are going back to base because something is happening it could be a flame tank It is a flame tank. I was right and uh, This flame tank is already at uh, veteran status So you might have destroyed something I'm not sure what it was I, I think it was a drone platform because I don't see it anywhere on the map uh, Mecha are coming out now they do take out a portal and another uh, refinery so or a war factor So it gets that's that's the, that's the last production structure. That's the last production structure that the granola has he has no more left and the secret tanks are just rolling into the base and just destroying all the harvesters from executive. This is not good. Both players are just screwing each other over, just like what happened a couple of games ago. Oh no, this is um, not good. Does Gnoll you know, lost his drop platform because of that flame tank, and now he doesn't have any more production structures. He he should he should keep the nerf center and the technology assembler because then he can throw down uh, phase field, phase field like, like that and uh, throw down a. Uh, also, we see this. Uh, um, this mecha paint here has the shard segments. It also has a corruptor segment as well, so you can just uh, do a bunch of damage to those Milton rocket squads. It does have a it does have a segment like that. So and that uh, corruptor segment is just uh, frying all these infantry squads. And this is gonna be so close. The scenario squads are coming in as well. And they're just gonna be focusing on the rocket squads and uh, selling off that uh, barracks because you can't support that anymore. Uh, here comes an air tower, which means one thing is gonna be mines. And I'm not sure where the plane is. The plane should be dropping on the mines right now. The phase field has been. Uh, it's not wired up just yet, but he does throw down lighting spikes. So that's going to be pretty good. Here come the mines, and they're going to be placing down right on that um, the senior squad army. But unfortunately, he's going to lose his uh, construction yard. And the venom is also going to be thrown. Oh, no, the mecha pay goes down. Oh, that was close. These uh, secret tanks are just finishing off the rest of the uh, harvesters. And this is oh, this is just going to be scary. This is the last attack. Uh, more harvesters being built from that uh, war factory. And the support power coming in and takes on... Oh, that was a heroic uh, rifle missile. That was a heroic uh, missile. Oh, another one heroic... Another heroic militant squad. What the hell is happening? The, the the war factory goes down. The secret tanks are finishing off the rest of the harvesters. This is just insane. This is just insane what's happening. Granola is just doing a ton of damage. These harvesters are just so destroyed. They're just getting destroyed. Uh, this leg spike here is being focused on by these militant rocket squads. What the hell is happening? What is this game? What is this game? All oh, these secret tanks. There's one of them is elite. Can you get that to heroic? That'd be awesome. He's... It's gonna be it's gonna be close. These Milton rocket squads. There's there's a heroic Milton rocket squad in there, and he throws down a Icor seed. There's two heroic Milton squads. What? Two heroic Milton squads. That landing spike is still alive. He needs to focus on the harvester. Oh my God, this uh, these secret tanks. If that if he can get that to heroic, if Granola can get that to heroic, then he's set. He is set. He needs to get that to heroic, and then uh, yeah, he's doing it just that just now. But at the same time, these Milton's. Are just going to be it finishing off the rest of that uh, lightning spike. I'm not sure the lightning spike can be repaired fast enough. It can't. Uh, we see a black hand squad. A black hand squad inside the base of Granola Bar. Oh, this is so bad. He can't destroy that. He can't destroy that black hand because he has no force on the map. He has two. He has uh, two secret tanks, but unfortunately, he can't do anything with the with the with the black hand squad. The harvesters can't crush. Oh. This this black hand squad might finish off uh, the rest of Granola's base. Granola's base is spread out quite a bit, quite a quite a bit. So this uh, uh, black hand squad may be able, if, if he's lucky, he can destroy that. But but uh, these these secret tanks need to destroy the base. These secret tanks need to destroy the base because that can't happen. The uh, Milton squads are focusing on the Milton the, on the uh, landing spike, and it's just getting bit repaired uh, quite easily. But uh, in doing so, these Milton squads are just going to be. Um, are leveling up as fast as they can, but now the late spike is focusing on that refineries, which is pretty good. Uh, this black hand squad is going to get focused down by these uh, secret tanks, and these secret tanks are doing a ton of damage. They're broken and prodding the black hand squad, but the black hand squad can't get too close to these secret tanks, otherwise, the secret tanks are just going to lose their shields. And now the militant squads are going to be coming in from the flank, and these uh, secret tanks oh my god, these secret tanks are just so close to dying. This black hand squad is half health, and a lot of harvesters, a lot of harvesters from granola. 
He kept those alive. And they, he's using the Harvesters as shields to protect him against the uh, Secret Tanks. That's quite good. But this heroic uh, Milton uh, squad is doing a ton of damage. But unfortunately, that huge shard segment was destroyed all, destroyed all the infantry squads. That was a nice job there by Granola. That Secret Tank needs to go heroic. It needs to go heroic right here, right now. And, oh my god, this is so close. This is the only attacking units left on the map. These two uh, lighting spikes are uh, just attacking what's left of the bases. Okay, this is close. I gotta zoom in. Oh, he throws a patrol. Buzzer from support power coming in. Buzzer from support power coming in. That was huge. That was huge from Granola. And the Black Hat squad will be destroyed and will get taken out. These secret tanks and the Buzzer squads. Heroic. Heroic. That's it. That's GG for executive. He can't. He. That, that's game. That's game. That's GG from executive. Holy cow. That was intense. That was close. 50 minutes, 30 seconds. Skip all that. Units graft, structures graft, resources, and stats. Uh, 124,422 to, to uh, Echo. Uh, 110,307 to Executive. So that's only $23,000 $23, and more in favor of Granola Bar. All right, so there's your game on Tournament Odyssey. My name's Cabal, and I'll see you guys next time.